Today I'm going to be showing you guys my new bat igniter action. So let's get right to it. Impact. So when it shows up to your FFL, at least mine showed up in a box, pretty unassuming, nothing, nothing to it. Standard packaging, stickers, some grease. That was all that was in there, uh, other than the receipt, of course, which I'm not going to include. But here's the action. Pretty cool bat logo on the back side, on the bolt stop, bolt release. Hopefully that's enough view of it for you guys. Spin it around, it's got stainless steel pins in the bottom. Scope base screws are 840 with eighth inch dowel pins to pin it in place. I opted for a 30 MOA scope rail and uh, they were pretty cool about it they were real responsive with their emails they quoted me two weeks to get it and I got it in two weeks with shot show right in the middle so I thought that was pretty damn good they got their uh, they got their shipping times and manufacture times down pat so the igniter is their um, more available action some of their other actions are build to order from my understanding and this one is more, they keep it on the shelf and then whatever base that you, re if you require a, a different MOA base, like I wanted a 30, but they stock 20s or something like that. So um, I, I guess it was something to do with that. But anyway, uh, it showed up in record time in my opinion. So the body is 4140 chrome molly. It's hardened and blued. The scope base itself is aluminum, and the bolt is nitrided and spiral fluted with a melanited extractor. And this one is set up for 338 300 Norma case heads. I'm going to be running a 300 Norma improved with a 35 degree shoulder. I spoke with Ryan Pierce at Piercision Rifles and he helped me out a boatload um, with, with my choice on that. So I decided to go with that. The action is well machined. The tenon is 1.062 by 18 threads per inch. The front of the bolt lug is 700 and 74 thousandths. That's not what I got earlier. Yeah, 765 thousandths is what I got. So to the front of the to the front of the bolt lugs here. So I don't know if that means anything, but it is a relatively short tenon in comparison to my Badger action. It will, it will uh, run out of a Wyatt's box or I'm going to be running out of a SIP length magazine. So the overall length in here is... Four inch, looks like 75 thousandths. 
So of course you can't feed out of a magazine that long, but it will feed out of a sip length magazine. You can kind of see, I'm trying to get some of the machining in there so you guys can see all that. I know when I was shopping for actions, all I wanted to do was look at it and people kept moving and fiddling and, and all that stuff. I did notice there was some machine marks back on this back side. Not that it means anything, just a fit and finish thing. And when you run the bolt, there is a slight sound, which my nitride actions all make that sound. Um, so it is smooth, man, I'm telling you. So Falcor likes to do their whole run it back and forth and whatever, but yeah, this thing is, it is very, very smooth. So I think it's well worth the money. Uh, the firing pin and bolt shroud, all this is nitrided as well. And as you can see, it's, you can take it down real quick and put it back together real quick. Goes, goes together and comes apart very easily. The bolt knob is aluminum. The bare action weighs 31 ounces and the pick rail adds another two ounces according to their website. So that's pretty cool. If you want a relatively lightweight action, that's this is definitely one that will fit the bill. If you're gonna build a 300 Norma hunting rig or something like that, that would definitely, definitely get it done. The, uh, there was something else I was gonna say about, oh, this got stainless steel trigger pins. Something else I did think was pretty neat. Well, that's actually a blind hole. So your action screws aren't gonna protrude up and, and hit the bottom of your, hit the bottom of your bolt. So that's, you don't have to trim them or anything. That's pretty darn cool. One thing to note is the bolt stop, bolt release. It is very large and beefy. So that's, if you look up inside there, it's a large, it's a large piece. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. There, you can see it that way. The chassis that this is going to go in is going to be a Whiskey 3. So in the Whiskey 3, this is a standard Remington 700 inlet, and this is a standard Remington 700 inletted long action magnum chassis, or long action chassis, and it drops right into place. Uh, the only thing is this bolt stop screw it protrudes a little too far and so the backbone is going to have to be inletted a little bit or machined or hit with a end mill or something like that. If somebody wanted to, they could hit it with a Dremel, but um, I'll run it in a, a bridge port and I'll just take a bridge port plunge cut and, and be done. But this is gonna get a 26 inch Bart line, left hand gain twist, starting at nine and a half, ending at eight and a half. MTU contour barrel, and it will be chambered in 300 Norma improved with a 35 degree shoulder, Alex Wheeler design reamer. Um, Ryan Pierce helped me out a whole bunch with this build and where to source parts and he gave, he got me um, set up with some brass and bullets and uh, told me where I could buy some of these dies. I'm going to tell you the Micron Precision dies over at Bullet Central for this. They are not cheap but they are gorgeous dies. Um, I've always loved Redding dies but good lord these are in a different uh, a, a different class period. 
So anyway, uh, back to the igniter. It's uh, the bolt lift doesn't feel doesn't feel incredibly heavy. It's uh, it is a what looks to be a 90 degree throw. I run usually 60s. I've got uh, I've got Curtis, Axiom, Terminus Zeus, and a Badger 2013, all of which are 60 degree bolt throws. Um, this one is 90. I've got a Mac Brothers Evo, stainless Evo, and it's a 90 as well. All of which are incredibly smooth actions. I don't have I don't have very many complaints about any of them. So they all do it well. But yeah, if you're looking for if you're looking for a a, a budget boomer uh, custom action, I would say this one would fit the bill. Bat is known in the industry as a leader in quality, and uh, they. They were real responsive, so I have no, I have no qualms with with their company so far. I mean, I've, they've been they've been great. I've, I've been real happy with their my experience with them. So, head on over to their website and check them out, and see if they can set you up.